This is Jalen, a commentary YouTuber with over 300,000 subscribers. Jalen has built a reputation for themselves as being one of the most hated commentary YouTubers on the platform. But why would that be? Hi. I'm the Internet Anarchist, I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be covering this series of events that led a relatively successful YouTuber down the depths of depravity, ultimately becoming the most hated creator in the space. Jalen's journey on YouTube would start on the 25th of January 2017. With humble beginnings in the Minecraft gameplay niche, Jalen would spend two years casually posting content up until the 22nd of June 2019, when Jalen would reach the milestone of 1,000 subscribers. Fast forward to 2021, and Jalen would no longer be posting Minecraft videos, but instead, commentary videos covering the Dream SMP. Jalen was the textbook commentary channel, growing her channel by covering drama involving Dream, That Vegan Teacher, and other big names in the commentary sphere. And on the 8th of February, Jalen would reach the milestone of 100,000 subscribers. And whilst 2021 would be the year of growth and expansion for Jalen, it would also be the year that she would now have the spotlight shined on her own actions. As just by August, she would already make a huge hypocritical mistake. On the 27th of August, YouTuber Technoblade would post a video announcing the unfortunate news of his cancer prognosis. Immediately as the news was made public, scummy clip channels would start trying to clickbait it for views, leading Jalen to post this tweet reading, These channels are already milking the Technoblade situation. But Jalen must have tweeted this while she was rendering a video, as literally right after she called out the channels for milking Technoblade, Jalen themselves would publish a video titled, I feel awful for Technoblade. The description of the video would be full of tags stuffing, which is essentially the attempt to repeat or use keywords several times to rank higher in search, and in turn get even more views, with the description mentioning Technoblade's name at least 10 times and the word cancer almost just as much. The video would mark the beginning of the end for Jalen, as the entire internet saw a video as trying to milk Technoblade's cancer for attention, and soon enough she'd begin to get called out by other YouTube channels in the niche such as Optimus and Sensitive Society. After feuding with them both on Twitter, Jalen would get her account banned for telling Sensitive Society to end his life, leading Jalen to posting an apology video the next day. The following month, Jalen would create a video titled The Worst Commentary Channel, calling out Brazer for the exact same thing she did just months prior. Enforcing higher stands than she abides to herself would become a reoccurring pattern in Jalen's career, and Jalen wouldn't do herself any favors when she would create dozens of tweets describing her hate and wishes of violence towards religious people, with tweets quoting, I want religion gone. I hope World War II happens to all religious people. The endless wars of hatred and oppression caused due to religion need to end. Believe Believe what you want, I don't really care, but yes, religion is a weakness, and it is for the weak. I have accepted that life is pointless, that I could die right now when it doesn't matter. That's strength. And most shockingly of all, when Jalen compared having religion to being a Nazi slave owner. Their beliefs have no place in modern society. Do you think slave owners have a place in society? Nazis? What about Roman soldiers? People who believe in Greek mythology? All these beliefs are outdated. Getting called out by other channels would become a frequent occurrence for Jalen, but things would escalate to a complete another level when she would finally snap. A small commentary channel by the name of Lyrics would publish a video titled Why I Don't Like Jaden, a critical video going through many of the smaller and larger controversies Jalen was involved in, and it wouldn't be long before the video would catch the attention of Jalen herself. It would leave a threatening comment quoting, This video violates YouTube's TOS. Good luck keeping your channel. And sure enough, the video would be hit by a community guidelines violation for quote unquote harassment. Jalen once again would be subject to several more commentary videos calling her out for false reporting a video criticizing her. But this was only the start, as on the 27th of December, Turkey Tom would post a video to his second channel, Tom Dark, breaking down Jalen's controversies and revealing her many hypocrisies and past examples of false flagging dozens of videos criticizing her. Jalen was quickly building a reputation in the commentary community for being a creator who would call out other people for small things while simultaneously doing even worse herself and using everything in her power to abuse the system and silence those who critique her. Two days later on the 29th of December, YouTuber Optimus would post 
released a video titled Jaden Just Can't Stop Getting Into Drama, where he would explain the quote Jalen cycle. And to this point where like the Jalen slash Jaden cycle has kind of been exposed, you know? Do some stupid shit, right? That's the first step. You gotta create the controversy by acting out of pocket and doing something, right? Next step, everybody starts calling you out for it, starts pointing out the hypocrisy in what you're doing and what you're saying, how your actions don't line up. Step three, Jalen will take to social media in some way, shape, or form to basically play victim. Oh, these people are coming after me. I can't handle this. I can't mentally take this. I make videos for the algorithm, you know? I, I don't mean to do this. I can't handle Optimus making a video on me. God fucking forbid he respond to the shit that I say and do. Basically play victim, uh, talk about, you know, no one cares, no one likes me, all this shit. And then the next step get the platform to do so, get the platform to redeem yourself, actually explain your fucking reasoning, your logic, whatever. And then the last step, completely fucking squander the opportunity, move on like nothing happened, uh, spend the next few weeks pretending that you're done with Twitter or whatever, and then just fucking repeating the cycle, basically. Entering 2022, things would only get worse for Jalen, as she would continue to be called out for hypocrisy, such as when Jalen called out political cartoonist Stone Toss for making jokes involving Jewish people, where people would begin to reply with examples of Jalen's own tweets joking about gassing people and making jokes based around Jewish people specifically. Jalen's behaviour would inspire a small YouTuber at the time, Zero Needs Coffee, to publish a video criticising her behaviour, and soon after the video being public, would actually get into contact with Jalen. She would act racistly towards towards him, going as far as sending a photo of George Floyd, followed up with a caption quoting, me kneeling on your dead channel. A very irresponsible thing to send someone, especially considering that Zero is African American himself, but at least this part has a semi-happy ending, as ironically, Zero, who had under 5,000 subscribers at the time, would soon blow up to have over 800,000 subscribers, more than double of Jalen. Good luck kneeling on his channel now. Months later on the 20th of December 2022, commentary YouTuber Cheetah would publish a video titled, Look Who's Getting Exposed, where throughout the video, Cheetah would criticize Jalen for her comments on religion. Which I am about to share. I want religion gone. I never said ban all religious people ever. I said the world would be better without religion. Dude, that's like saying I don't want to ban all trans people, I just think the world without them would be better. Right now, the only thing keeping me sane in these hard times that me and my country are going through is my faith and the way people are looking at it is saddening. You are weak then, simple as that. False belief is ignorance. Why go your entire life believing something that is so blatantly false? Jaden, you understand, this can easily be flipped back to you and say, well, Jaden, you're obviously a man. Like, why do you believe you're a woman? Why would you go your whole life believing something that is blatantly false? If you want to be a transgender woman in society and you want people to believe that you're a woman, right, and treat you like a woman, the literal least thing that you could do is allow for Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, and Catholics, and Jews, and all others, right? You have to allow them, or at least respect their desire to be people of faith. The cherry on top is that Jaden thinks that religious people are weak-minded. They're not strong people. They're not good at getting through the hard times when, ironically enough, he has tweeted, does the self-hatred ever go away? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. Later in the video, a cheetah would also bring up Jalen's habit of constantly whining on Twitter whenever a YouTube channel was slightly underperforming. But oh my god, stop complaining on Twitter about how bad your channel's doing. Damn, I really fell off. My channel one year ago versus now. This is why I don't make COD videos. Guys, I'm going homeless. All of the dream money dried up. Okay, this one's sarcastic, but still, please stop. A week later, on the 6th of January 2023, Jalen would post a response video titled, I'm Done, where she'd play victim and apologize for her jokes about religion. However, the following day, Ichita would post a video breaking down her response and criticizing her for failing to address many of the critiques that she was given. With Jalen's video having 1.2k likes and 2.2k dislikes, compared to Ichita's 6.6k likes and 200 dislikes, it was clear that Ichita had come out the victor in the dispute, and things would only get worse for Jalen. Just days later, Jalen would join a Discord call where she would have a mental breakdown. During the lash out, she'd call an African American man the call the hard R. They say on Twitter, yeah, all transphobic people are pedophiles, and just being openly transphobic towards Ringo. That's not being transphobic. I can make 41% jokes. Also, Ringo's literally, L Ringo's also literally making the same jokes. Like, what the f are you talking about? Like, what the f are you a dart? Whoa. Like, all you're not black. You're not black, Jalen. You're not allowed to say. I need fair. You're not allowed to say. Are you like, racist? I am black. I am black. You're all hypocrite. I don't know. Calm down. I am black, Jalen. You don't know that? You. I'm literally. Like, actually. 
You know, oh. I don't want me to kill myself. Is that what you're calling? You people are literally what? driving me. How is that fucking insane? The <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> What the hell is wrong? Say, Jalen, Jalen, let's hurry up. Can you really do that? Jalen, let's go. What? What? Is there, why, are you, why are you going crazy? Why are you molding? Why are you breaking up? That is literally your intention. That is what you're trying well, to do. Be yeah, my intention on Twitter was to race you. you enjoy it because it's pleasurable. Which is because you're all fucking sociopaths and you fucking feed off of it. Later in the call, Jalen would try to read out their full address to get themselves swatted. It's worse though, as more people would join the call during this meltdown, and in doing so, Jalen would straight up dox herself, trying to read out her full address so someone could swat her. No one cares, no one cares about the f truth. You, you all just lie, you twist them and nip on this shit. Let me lay the matrix code. Calm down, Jalen, we need to talk, okay? Side plot. Oh, New York. Jalen, we need to talk. I don't think okay, you're actually, you're I don't actually, hold on. Hold on with myself. I want you to swat me. Hold on, hold on. Who wants my address? And following this, Jalen would delete their Twitter account and apologize for what they previously said. However, this break from Twitter would only be another example of Jalen's lack of self-control, as it wouldn't be long before she would bring it back, only to find herself once again knee-deep in controversy, as she would say this in a call. Fucking dirty n Go back to your country, you fuck oh. oh. hey, yo. All right. Later on while streaming, a chatter would bring up the situation and ask why she said it, where Jalen would respond claiming that it was quote, based. Why'd you say the n-word? Because the n-word is based and red-pilled, that's why I said it. All these events would lead up to the 23rd of March 2023, when Jalen would join a cheater for a debate, where a cheater would ask this dying question. Okay, moving on, the next topic I have here. What are your thoughts on black people? I, uh, <laughs> that's... Okay, I support black people. I support Black Lives Matter. I'm all for it. Do you understand how that may come into contradiction with you saying the N-word with the hard R to a black person? I mean, so uh, the thing with uh, with that scenario, obviously I apologize <laughs> for ever ever using that word. That's a word that never should have uh, should have come. How, out how of long my ago mouth. was this? And, uh, I mean, it's been a, it's been a, I think a, like a, a couple months or a oh. month ago or so. A month ago? I didn't actually know it was that recent. Yeah, something like that. Okay. May have been a couple months ago. I don't know. Okay. Right. Um, so, uh, a lot of people have made uh, assumptions on, on that whole thing and assumed that it came from a place of, of hatred, which, uh, is simply not true. <laughs> Wait, um, hold, on, so hold, on, hold on, I gotta do a full stop right there. So, telling someone to find God comes from a place of hatred, but calling someone the hard R doesn't? Do you mean, want, wait, I, that doesn't make I, any I, sense! See, I have to explain the, the context to this scenario. First of all, I didn't know he was, he was black, so... I'll admit, I have, I have an issue when I am in emotional state. I will say things out of anger. I will, I will just say the, the worst thing I can think of out, out the top of my head. And with the, the religion thing, Right, I said the whole, I hope World War II happens to religious people. That was not like a serious belief I had, it was just something I said out of like, anger and impulsivity. And I was, uh, I was in this Discord server and I was like harassed in the, in the server for like, multiple days. Everyone in the server was all dropping the hard R, they were calling me the N-word, they were telling me to die, to, to, to kill myself, they were saying all kinds of like, transphobic shit. And so I got on a call with this guy. I had I had no idea that that he was black. It doesn't really matter. I should have never said it in the first place. And so out of anger, not due to his race, I just said the most offensive, horrible thing I can, I can think of. And I think most people can agree, like the most offensive thing that you can call someone or or say is the N word. With Jalen's channel rapidly losing subscribers, it seems like most of the internet is more concerned for their well-being than anything else. With a tweet quoting, Jalen doesn't just need a break from the internet, she needs an intervention. This is not a person that is in touch with reality. I don't even see the funny side anymore. It's just sad and pathetic. And I think that tweet sums up the situation quite well. Comment below what you think about the situation. 